Whenever you're in trouble, whenever you are happy, let a word bubble up in your heart. Bubble up, kids! Word alive! Friends, today we are going to learn a memory verse that I think your parents will be really happy that you've learned, right Josh? <laughs> so today's memory verse is from John chapter 6 verse 12 and it says, gather the pieces that are left over, let nothing be wasted, Not okay? Not even a piece. Nothing, nothing be wasted. So we're going to explain that verse and Josh, as usual, will ask some questions about that verse. What did you all think, friends? Was Josh wasting water yeah. in the bathroom? Yeah. Was Josh wasting water in the bathroom? Yes! Was he wasting electricity in the bathroom? Yes! We are going to learn a memory verse today that will hopefully help Josh to stop wasting everything including you friends at home okay so let's do this okay let's do this after me you all know the rhythm by now so it's slow medium fast low normal super high okay so let's start with slow john repeat after me i'm gonna count one two three if you are sitting down get up okay let's breathe in Breathe out. Shake it out. <laughs> now we're going to count one, two, three. And you're going to repeat after me. And watch the screen if you can read and read the words. Okay? John. 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 Chapter 6. Chapter 6. Verse 12. Verse 12. So let's start with a low. Gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. <laughs> Terrific, friends. We're gonna come to our normal voices. John, John, chapter six, chapter six, verse twelve. Verse twelve. Gather the pieces, Gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. Let nothing be wasted. Now, get ready to scream on top of your voice for your next door neighbor to hear you. Okay? Okay? Okay. Okay. John, 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 chapter 6, chapter six. Verse, 12. verse 12, gather the pieces, gather the pieces. that are left over, let nothing, let nothing, be wasted, be wasted, terrific friends, great job friends at home, thank you Josh, now we're gonna go really slow, they're normal. It's super duper fast. <laughs> so we're out of breath. Almost. <laughs> okay? So let's do this, friends. John. John. Chapter 6. Chapter 6. Verse 12. Verse 12. Gather the pieces. Let nothing. Gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. John, John, chapter six, chapter six. Verse 12. Verse 12. Gather the pieces. Gather the pieces. That are left over. That are left over. Let nothing. Let nothing. Be wasted. Be wasted. Okay, guys. Now we're going to go super duper high and super duper fast. Are you ready? Yes! Okay. 
One, two, three. Giant! Chapter six. Chapter six. Verse twelve. Verse twelve. Put the pieces. Put the pieces. Put our left over. Let nothing be wasted. That was fast. That was refreshing. That was refreshing. Oh, that was too fast. Let's catch our breath. Bubble up, kids. What a life. Okay, friends. So this is a memory verse that I really want all of us to always remember. Jesus said it himself when he fed 5,000 people. Oh my goodness. Friends, can you, Josh, can you imagine how many people 5,000 is? That's like 5,000, that's like 4,999,000, whatever the number is of me. <laughs> yep. Can you imagine, friends? That's a lot of people. But Jesus gave all of them food, and guess what? Him being Jesus, of course there'll be so much more food left, right? But he did not waste it. Jesus told them, gather the pieces that are left over, let nothing be wasted. Jesus did not want them to waste the food that he gave them. So Jesus does not want us to waste food or anything else that he gives us. Think about it. And I know you all have things you waste at home, don't you? Just like we saw Josh do in the video, right? So we always want to make sure we remember anytime you're wasting anything that Jesus said, gather the pieces that are left over, that not be wasted. So, Miss Bubble, are you saying that Jesus was concerned with leftover food? Can you imagine? Because I'm like, uh, Jesus, you can create a thousand, a million times more food, right? I mean, Jesus is God Almighty. He can, he, he should be able to enjoy wasting. But he was really concerned with leftover food. So we all have to be really concerned. And especially because other people don't even have food to eat. So when we are blessed to have food and our parents provide for us, we should not wasted and we should always remember this memory verse that Jesus said from John 6 verse 12. So is it just wasted to food or is Jesus concerned about wasting like other stuff like electricity, water, food? Everything friends! Jesus is concerned about everything. He wants us to take good care of all the stuff he's created. So just like you were doing in the bathroom, you know, not wasting water not wasting anything electricity because some people don't even have water some people don't even have electricity you know so when we are blessed to have it we should not waste it and especially because jesus does not want us to waste it so it's not just food but just anything else you can think about even sharpening your pencils i know most of you enjoy sharpening pencils anyone it's not blunt right that's also wasting pencils <laughs> it's satisfying <laughs> I know, but we don't have to waste stuff like breaking crayons. Just anything you can think about that is wasteful is something Jesus will frown upon. Oh, so should I be mindful of wastage or just when I'm at home? Or can I carry this attitude everywhere? You can't carry it everywhere, but sometimes it may be out of your control. Like sometimes you see other people wasting stuff, you know, in school or at the groceries. If it's a stranger though, that may be interesting to just approach a stranger and say, Mister, why are you wasting this or that, you know? But if it's your friends in school, you can tell them that they shouldn't be wasting anything, whether it's crayons or pencils or food or water. You should be an ambassador for Jesus everywhere you are. So when you see other people wasting other stuff, you stand up and you tell them and you can tell them this memory verse that Jesus said that let nothing be wasted right and you'll be right so we as ambassadors of Jesus we have to reflect him everywhere we go and that means we should be first practicing it at home before we go tell other people about it right <laughs> so you repent right Josh yes okay <laughs> Why do I have to memorize this memory verse? Oh my goodness, Josh. This is so important. Especially even as you grow older and older and older. 
because you're gonna have even money sometimes as adults we waste money because we buy things we don't even need don't tell your mommy or daddy that but we need to always remember this memory first from now until we grow older and older and older and anytime we are being wasteful jesus is looking at us with big eyes and saying john 6 verse 12 the other pieces that are left over that nothing be wasted so that word should always bubble up in your hearts anytime you're in a situation of wastefulness Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> you are so welcome, Josh. And I hope you friends at home understand this memory verse very, very well. Bubble up kids, what a lie! Okay, friends. As usual, you know we're gonna have a quiz for you today. So Josh is gonna read our quiz for the day and the answers, and I want you to think about it carefully and choose the correct answer, okay? Okay, Josh, let's go. Is it okay to waste food in other items sometimes yet a yes it is okay my parents can buy me more when i run out b yes it is okay i don't care about other people who may not have what i have c no it is not okay to be wasteful because even jesus cared about leftover d all of the people mm, friends that's a great i love this question friends what do you think? Is it okay? No. Is it A? Yes. It's okay. No. My parents can buy me more when I run out. I don't, I don't know. Think about it, friends. Or is it yes? It's okay. I don't care about other people who may not have what I have. That's pretty selfish to not care about other people. Is it all C? No. It's not okay to be wasteful because even Jesus cared about leftover food. Or D, all of their bath. Mm. Let's give our friend some few minutes to think about it and Josh will tell us what he thinks the answer is. So, mm. it's obviously C. It is definitely obviously C because even Jesus cared about leftover food. We have to care about being wasteful not just of food but other stuff too good job friends let's give a round of applause to all our friends who got it right <laughs> terrific bubble up kids what a lie miss bubble we have so many countries around the world that watch this channel right now yeah. right here yeah can you imagine and today we are gonna say hi to the first 10 countries that always watch consistently friends we just want to say thank you so much for always watching this show and sharing with your family and your friends we are so grateful so we're gonna start with the very first country so the number one country that watches bubble up kids show the most is the united states of america let's say hi to all our friends in the united states of america hi friends <laughs> terrific the second is India. Let's say hi to all our friends in India. Hi. The third is Indonesia. Let's say hi to all our friends in Indonesia. Hi. The fourth is Philippines. Let's say hi to all our friends in the Philippines. Hi. The next is Russia. Let's say hi to all our friends in Russia. Hi. The, the next is the United Kingdom. Let's say hi to all our friends in the United Kingdom. Hi. Next is Vietnam. Let's say hi to all our friends in Vietnam. Hi. Next is Thailand. Let's say hi to all our friends in Thailand. Hi, Hi friends! Next is Malaysia. Let's say hi to all our friends in Malaysia. Hi, Hi friends! Malaysia. And the very 10th one is Turkey. Let's say hi to all our friends who watch us from Turkey. Hi, Hi friends! <laughs> that is so wonderful. And for all the other countries, if you're in another country and we did not mention your country, don't worry. 
keep watching and every week we're gonna say one country or the other and say hi to you in your country okay and remember friends if you want us to say hi to you all you have to do is to tell your mommy or daddy to send us a name and the country you're watching from to bubbleupkidsshow at gmail.com and we will say a hi to you or if you have a birthday coming up let us know we will add you to the birthday list and celebrate with you when the time comes bubble up kids what a life oh my goodness what a wonderful show today josh i had so much fun didn't you yep i, I did a lot of fun. and friends we hope you all had a lot of fun too and don't forget to like and subscribe share and watch my channel and do the exact same thing and repeat to all my videos yep you got that right friends yeah, okay that. so like this video share with your friends subscribe most of you have not subscribed subscribe hit that subscribe button okay so you can always know all the time when we post new videos and go check out josh's karate channel he has so many new videos there you really want to check it out too and subscribe and like as well okay we're gonna leave now we don't want to go but we have to go but you can always come back and re-watch the show over and over again to help you remember the memory verses today we learned john chapter 6 verse 12 that are the pieces that are left over let nothing be wasted so let's pray that the lord will always help us to remember this memory verse anytime we're in a wasteful situation okay friends let's close our eyes and pray dear heavenly father we just want to thank you so much for such a wonderful show today thank you for teaching us that we have to be mindful of wasting everything that you have blessed us with we ask that we pray for those who don't have the things that we have that lord you will provide for them in jesus name and you will help us to always remember let this word bubble up in our hearts whenever we are in a situation that we are being wasteful help us to always remember that we should not let anything be wasted thank you lord for our parents bless our parents all over the world in jesus name bless bubble up kids show to reach many children all over the world bless josh's karate channel and bless josh and his family in jesus name Amen. 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 awesome friends now let's say a big goodbye to all our friends bye, bye. Subscribe to Bubble Up Kids YouTube channel and don't miss any episodes. Let's go tell everyone about Bubble Up Kids. Whenever you're in trouble, whenever you are happy, let a word bubble up in your heart. Bubble Up Kids, what a lie!